Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Oh my God, I haven't been speaking for hours. But anyway, I hope I don't choke. I don't have any water nearby me. <clears throat> but anyway, um, this is a, a crochet piece. I'm experimenting with um, the print that is on the yarn to see what it looks like. And really, depending on how you um, crochet with it, it's a uniform print, so uh, it's going to come out in certain kind of ways and certain kind of ways that you crochet with it but this is going to be I'm going to turn this into an animated um, one of those animated atomic mandalas so I think I kind of like oh, I, I really didn't intend for it to get this large but I'm really going to take it larger because I see something that's interesting happening with um, the print as I take it out. And I, I just want to see what it's going to look like the, um, the, more, the bigger it gets. I'm using this really thin thread here. I don't, I don't use this. Um, I like using it because it's so strong. But I don't, I haven't used it a lot in the past, but um, I think I will be experimenting a little more with it. Excuse me, I like putting this fuchsia in here because that's not in this um, color pattern at all. So I'm just trying to break up the consistency of the pattern with my own introduction to different, you know, colors. Sometimes that uh, incorporating different colors does something, does a, a, a synergy, a visual synergy that I usually like, you know. So I think I, I didn't bring my other colors over to this table, but um, I think I may put like um, a neon green around the edge because I want it to be dynamic. But I'm trying not to get a psychedelic kind of effect, you know? But we'll call it after it's finished and see, you know. See um, the nature of this organism, <laughs> this um, crocheted organism. It's kind of hard crocheting. It's hard crocheting. And I'm about, I'm, I have to get new handles for my um, tripod because I, had it, I have it set up in a way where it does make it hard to crochet. I, I can't really, I can't really um, see the crochet in, see the stitches and crochet at the same time. But I was trying to do, you know, as I get better with this, I, I was trying to do um, actual crocheting on camera. But it's not gonna work. But this is my marker here. This is where I know where I can, if I want to add another color, this is, it, it's at this point. This point goes from here, from here, all the way out here. So, yeah, I thought I'd just um, share this with you. I thought I could crochet on camera, but I just ordered this part. It should be, I should get it today, really. I just saw my email where um, it was delivered. I don't know where these handles went to um, my tripod, but I've been doing all kind of rigging this tripod up just to um, get my camera at an angle so um, I can crochet and work, but I'm definitely gonna have to um, 
that I have to interesting kind these are two different kinds of yarns definitely gonna have to um, put these handles on so I can tighten it up so I can have a little bit a lot more control of this um, thingy so I can by the end of this whole thing I should be able to know how to um, how to um, shoot my own videos and document and stuff because at least I'm doing a lot better than I was in the beginning but and I also had to order this yarn here I, this is the last bit of this yarn I like how this is this is right here I like how that just accents these other yarns and stuff but that's the yarn that I had to I had to pay thirteen dollars a skein for and, and, and originally I paid like I think two something two dollars and something cents for this but I just hope I find because sometimes I can find a whole because I think I bought a lot of these in fact I think I bought all these out um, but sometimes I can find a pack that I forgot about. But I really do like this, you know, how it looks. I can blend it with other kind. This is a totally different yarn here. This, and then it's different from this yarn here. And it's this different from this lavender. But put together, you know, and composed, it's, it looks nice up against this solid black yarn. You know, because this is this is kind of like a charcoal with these speckles, neon speckles in it, and they they, they didn't even have this yarn out for a length of time. I, I don't even think um, I don't even think this yarn was in existence for five years. And maybe I was the only one that was buying it. That's why they discontinued it, or me and two other people. You know, but I really love it. I like. I like blending it with um, all these other yarns. So now I'm getting four skeins. Hopefully I'll be able to um, find some more skeins and uh, use them sparingly. Cause I, I didn't use them a lot, use it a lot here. You know, I, I, I use it some here, right in here. And that's about the, here and at the, at the edge, you know, that's where it, you know, it accented. But anyway, I was going to try to crochet on camera, but it's not, it's not working. I can't, I can't see the crochet. My face would be all in the camera because I, I, I get pretty, pretty close to, um, pretty close to the um, crochet anyway. But I do... Eventually, I do want to show you um, the inspirations for some of the um, furniture design I'm creating. This is the cutest little thing here. I got this online. These these are some Victorian little furniture pieces. And I got them to, you know, I'm not going to use them in my, um, in my photographs, but I got it for inspiration. Maybe I might use it, I don't know, but I just think, you know, the babies look so cute in this little carriage, this little Victorian carriage. This could be, be either made out of um, wicker, the white wicker, but this is made out of metal. I got this online. It's a real beautiful piece, you know? I really like this, all the, um, all the decorations, all the ornate Rococo, I guess that's what that's called. The little babies, the little prince and the little princess. But you know, I just like this this piece. When I saw it, I just want to have it for inspirations and stuff. And the babies in their little crocheted outfits and stuff. But I'm gonna sh share the other the other furniture pieces that I got, you know, later. I had started, I had, I, I had, um, 
taken videos of the other ones, turned them around, but I just haven't posted it yet. I posted, a, I mean, I, I, I um, videotaped a, um, a few tapes, but I, I just haven't gotten around to um, posting them yet. I've been applying for things and um, a lot of, it used to be called paperwork, but it's, you know, online work now. And um, so, you know, just doing between the NFTs, animation, learning the programs, trying to take it where it hasn't been taken before, especially with the animated crochet pieces. But that's where I am now. So I guess I'm just going to have to stop videotaping and just get back to crocheting because I can't see this. So the next time you see this, it'll be in a different stage. But uh, I, I do like the, the visual effects of this so far. So thank you once again for um, joining me and for your support. I really, really, you really don't know how much I really appreciate your support and your um, being on this little open studio experience here. And it's just going to be going until the end of December, I think. It may go a few months longer, just in case, depending on what projects I start working on. Um, but that's it for now. I'm starting to ramble. Peace, everybody. Take good care.